Okay, welcome to LS589. This is Summer 3 2016. What we're going to do in this uh, uh, introductory lecture is to tell you about what we have to do uh, for the next five weeks uh, to accomplish uh, the learning objective that we have for this class. Also, I'd like to show you uh, the uh, D2L website so you uh, know your way around. Okay, so uh, here is our site. This is LS589 Applied Web Technologies in Libraries, 2016 summer. By the way, my name is Dr. Simon Aristigueira, and I'd like to welcome you all. So let's go to the content area. Uh, the way I have designed my class, and I do it uh, for summer classes, and sometimes I do it too for regular uh, uh, semester classes. Instead of going week by week, I do by components, okay? So we have in the table of content, we have the syllabus, we have homework, required readings, DV participation, which it is uh, the discussion, we have a final exam, and we have the PowerPoints. Uh, for this class, there is no uh, textbook required. However, you will have to do some uh, required readings. Let's go and see the syllabus first. Okay, uh, as I said, this is a summer 2016 LS589. Uh, all the classes are, be on, are going to be online. I will be recording lectures and also uh, posting past lectures that I have done uh, in previous section. Uh, this is my contact information. I will recommend that uh, if you want to talk to me personally, send me an email to my email address because uh, uh, I am not going to the office at this moment. So I'm working from home and also from um, uh, from other cities, so I'm not uh, stationed here in Clarion all the time. This week I will be here, but next week I'll be traveling. So please uh, email me and we'll make an appointment. I will uh, give you a call or we can do a uh, Skype sh uh, uh, contact if you want to, or I can answer your question by email. However, I also will recommend that if you have questions regarding the class uh, to post it and I will tell you where so other students can see your questions and help me answer it or if they have the same uh, question they will get the answer right there okay uh, so I won't have office hour as such but I will be uh, online checking every day this uh, uh, site the D2L site so I will be answering your questions uh, as I said before, we don't have a required text, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, this is a, a description of the course and the course overview. I'm not going to read it, but please make sure you do so you understand what our learning objectives are and how those uh, outcomes or learning outcomes or learning objective will be assessed. And this has to do with the homeworks. If you're going to do and you have to, uh, at least one, there's a, at least one paper, please make sure you use APA style, okay? And even though I don't teach uh, uh, formatting and citation style, you as a grad student uh, have to learn how to do it. There are many styles, but the one that I use is APA. I use this site, the EnglishPurdue.edu site, which is a very good uh, site for learning different uh, uh, formatting and citation styles. Also, you, if and that's up to you, you can buy the manual, uh, the APA manual. You can buy an online version or you can buy a printed version. But we as librarians, uh, especially if you're going to work on school libraries and academic libraries, we have to get familiar with different uh, citation and formatting styles. Okay. Uh, when I was a, 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 a reference uh, uh, librarian a uh, few years ago, few, few years ago uh, one of the things that I had to do was uh, to help uh, the students on APA style. So it became my favorite. 
But uh, at the same token, I had questions about other styles. And even though I didn't know them well, I had the resources to look for the answers. So we have to be familiar with that. Uh, 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 citation and, and formatting is uh, for a librarian as uh, adding and subtracting for a mathematician. Okay, uh, We are in a grad school, so it, it is up to you to learn uh, to, do, to use uh, different citation and formatting styles. Okay, so the due dates are here in the uh, are not here in the syllabus, but are in the detail side, and I will show you. So what do we have to do? Uh, we have uh, seven uh, discussion boards or participation, I call it. I call it, and each one is worth five points for a total of thirty-five points that you can be awarded. Then we will have three assignments. The first one is serving web technology applications on library. That's only one occurrence, and that's worth 20 points for a total of 20 points. Then we have the liter literature review assignment. One, you have to do only one uh, uh, occurrence, and it's worth 15 points. And finally, the age, uh, 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 homework number three, which is the social media site that you have to develop. Um, it's worth 20 points and you only have to do one side uh, and this is the uh, you can be awarded up to 20 points and then there is the one final exam of course there is one occurrence and it's worth 10 points for a total of 100 points this is the grading scale that I use and this is a standard scale for uh, for the university for Clarion University and you will know exactly your letter grade because it will depend on how many points have you achieved. Okay, this is of course outline. Uh, we have five weeks on this uh, short session, and these are the topics that we are going to cover. Okay, we're going to go to the uh, we're going to cover the internet, the World Wide Web, uh, the and the library uh, internet resources too, such as OPAC, e collections, database, digital reference, etc. And we'll end up in uh, um, uh, open source and content management systems. These are, this, this is CMS, okay? And so the idea is to, um, to go, not to every, but uh, uh, to most uh, uh, web technologies that are being applied in the, the library setting. Okay, and we're going to go together. You uh, and, and me, we're going to survey those uh, technologies. As we know, uh, our libraries have become increasingly uh, uh, internet based, which is fine. And so we have to be uh, ready to that, for that challenge. That it started, um, I would say, 20 years ago. I remember in the 1980s, uh, uh, late 80s, I uh, was able to use the internet for the first time and from that period, let's say 1984, 1985 to today's, oh, the, the, the progress has been uh, immense and I think we are now to the point where we can reach more uh, um, uh, uh, patrons for our libraries. Many of you, I'm sure, I, I am one of the, those, like to check out uh, electronic books not only from Clarion University, but I also do from my public library system and read them in my computer or my iPad or my Kindle and even in my cell phones too. Okay, here are the policies. Uh, make sure you read this very well. This is about academic honesty. Uh, so I don't foresee any problems. I think all of you are going to do very well. But make sure you read the syllabus uh, uh, in its entirety. Okay, let's go back to uh, the content area and see the homeworks. Uh, this is important too. Okay, uh, in here in the homework we have um, several examples of things uh, to look that you have to look and that's a guideline for, for writing a literature review please make sure you click on that and see and go to that uh, uh, 
to that um, uh, website there is another link to the APA Al Purdue online writing lab uh, there is also a dissertation guide and this is chapter 2 because chapter 2 in, in the dissertation guide refers to literature reviews there is a sample paper that you can see and then there is links here we have H1 meaning uh, homework 1 we have a link where you are going to drop your or publish your uh, homework one. Then there is a homework two, that's a literature review, and that's where you're going to um, um, uh, post your literature review. And and finally, H3, uh, which is homework three, that is the link to your the social media site that you have developed. Now let's see the instructions. We have the instruction for homework number one. Okay, and the title of this homework is Surveying Web Technology Applications on Library Instructions. Visit your closest uh, library. It doesn't matter if it's public. Uh, well, school libraries are closed uh, at this moment, but if it's a public library or an academic library, just go there and visit it. Then what you will do is then you will scan, observe, and ask questions about information technologies, digital and web based available to patrons. Well, but I, what I mean by digital and web based is that there are some information technologies that come in different formats, uh, such as uh, DVDs, for example, or, or CDs. So, and web based meaning that uh, they are being streamed directly from the internet, such as the OPAC. Uh, the online uh, public access catalog such as um, uh, 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 online reference uh, or uh, when you stream music or you download uh, content remotely such as a book as I was saying before to your iPad or to your Kindle so please observe scan ask questions about what technologies are being used in your library and of course it will depend on the size of your library and if it's uh, like a small public uh, library I uh, my my guess is that we'll have less technology maybe I'm totally wrong maybe we will have more uh, information technologies than a, you know a large system uh, or an academic library well that will be up to, for you to discover so here are some examples of, of uh, information technologies, OPAC, ebook collections, databases, digital reference, integrated library systems. Then what you have to do is to describe them uh, to the best of your abilities. Think as yourself as someone who is looking to the ITs for the first time. So. I know we all we all share uh, uh, cell phones or iPads and computers, and I think it's obvious. But for this experience, um, imagine that you are coming from another era to the present time. Okay, and so so you have to be surprised for what we have achieved. Let's say you come from the 1950s of the 1940s, and you are time traveling. Imagine how would uh, would uh, everything that we have will surprise you so what are the guiding questions for your report okay what are the names of these uh, technologies how do they work how can I use them uh, do I know how to use them what are they for how can I make my information search and use of information uh, more efficient and write a report in your own words I don't want you to cite any literature okay if you have uh, if you interview a librarian well you may cite the librarian if you want to put uh, I will advise you at this moment not you don't even have to use the name of the librarian just ask, tell me that you interview a librarian at such and such library uh, but the idea is that you write this report with your own words how long does this report have to be? Because I always get questions uh, about from students uh, concerning the length of the homework. Well, it may be two, three pages. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to be a, a very long uh, report. Three pages will be fine. And then you're going to 
uh, copy and paste your report in one of the uh, D2L uh, discussions. And we're going to see that in a while. Let, let's, let's, uh, or, or not, let me follow this uh, uh, H1. So once you have that, you're going to go to communications. You have written your, rep you have visited your library. You have interviewed your librarians. You have written your report. You're going to go to discussions. And you're going to go to section uh, where it says graded participation homework. And the topic number one is H1, serving web technology applications on library. This is where you're going to post your report from H1. And by the way, it has a due date, which is July 24, uh, 2016, at 11.30 uh, uh, EDT. Okay, so this is where you have to uh, publish your H1. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to ta to ta uh, to content area again. We have instructions for H2, and this is a literature review, and that's why here in homework you have some links, and I think I pointed out just uh, before that uh, how to get how to write a literature review the APA all uh, product written online dissertation guidelines see chapter 2 uh, a APA sample paper see the area of uh, uh, where the literature review is be is developed and that's chapter 2 okay so let's see the instructions Okay, select a web technology of your interest and then think about an issue that you would like to explore to construct a topic. Explore the topic. Some examples are, you don't have to follow this, these are examples. Uh, children's use of technology, searching Google, cost of information technologies, professional uh, development and training to implement ITs in libraries, library education on ITs, the use of social media as a library marketing tool. You can use these uh, examples or you can make your own. It doesn't matter. Then you have to write a literature review. How do you write a literature review? Please refer yourself to the links that I posted. Your literature review has to have at least 10 scholarly journal uh, papers. And by the way, a literature review means that you're going to review, let's say, the last few years. Start with a search of the last five years, okay? And you're going to compare and contrast uh, peer review uh, articles, uh, peer review journal articles, okay? Uh, how, uh, what is the length of this uh, homework? It's five to 10 pages. And you have to follow the guidelines on the syllabus, and everything has to be formatted using APA. If you don't know how to use APA, then you have to learn how to use APA. And don't ask me questions. Get the manual or go to the uh, 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 to the um, to the APA site that is linked there, and learn uh, how to use APA. Remember, you are a grad student. Okay, so. I will deduct uh, one point per citation mistake, and two, day, two points will be deducted if APA formatting is not followed. And what are you going to do with this uh, homework? You're going to uh, uh, put it in the Dropbox or assignment, as, it's called at the, as it is called now. So let's go there. And this is where you're going to put your H2 homework to literature review. And the due date is July 31st. Okay. So this is where you're going to uh, uh, drop your literature review. Let's go back to, con to the content area. OK, we'll read in the instructions of H2. By the way, your papers will be checked by turning it in. Uh, uh, so make sure you cite properly the sources. Uh, remember that the use of any form of academic uh, dishonesty will result in a failing grade for the assignment or exam. Okay. If you want to read more about the 
uh, Clarion University Academic Honesty Policy, please refer to that link. So it has to be your own paper and you have to cite again at least 10 scholarly journal papers, which means that you can cite more if you want to, but there must be at least 10 or more. Uh, or you, uh, If you want to cite a book, that's fine. You can cite as many books as you like, as long as you cite 10 scholarly journal papers. Okay? So, uh, so uh, but please don't go over 10 pages. And when I mean 10 pages, I mean uh, 10 pages of your review plus uh, what it is required in APA, such as your title page, etc. But the length is between 5 to 10. Again, you have to have at least 10 uh, citations from scholarly journal papers but you don't have to limit yourself to 10, you can have more. And if you want to cite other types of uh, literature, such as textbooks, etc., you uh, are welcome to do it. But at least you have to have 10 citations from scholarly journal papers. Good. Let's go back to the table of content again. And we have, finally, H3. That's homework number three. And this is a fun assignment. And the idea is that you create a social media web technology. Uh, first, choose a social media web technology according to the following criteria. A, one that you have never managed before because the idea, you may have a blog already, or you may have a Facebook page, or you may tweet. But the idea is that you, you choose one that you have never used before. Why? Because it, this class is supposed to be a learning experience. One that you feel uh, would contribute to either a library or for your own professional development. So, so if you're going to a, a develop a, a social media website, choose, choose a technology that you think it will help a library where you work on or if you don't want, on, if, if you're not working on a library, choose one that you can use in the future and will uh, be uh, uh, will help you in your own professional development. Okay, so a blog may be very important where you where you put your your work, for example, and your CV. I have my own blog, and I will show you that uh, during the uh, during the term of this class during this uh, session. And I use uh, my blog to, I, even though I don't do like uh, daily entries, I, I publish there my, my, my research. And when I'm going to do a, a, when I'm going to do like a presentation, etc. So that would be one idea. You don't have to do that, but that would be an idea. Uh, one that you feel you will be using and updated in the future. So something that is worthwhile for you, not only for this class, not only as a learning experience, but something that will help you in the future. Launch and add content to the social media site of your choosing. Explore by adding, deleting, editing content and media types. By media types, I mean you can add uh, video, you can add uh, GIFT, you can add uh, JPEGs, uh, sound, etc. And please copy and paste and share the link with the class at the D2L communication discussion H3. So let's go to H3 and this is in discussion here. And we go down here, H3, uh, link to social media site. And the due date is July uh, 24, Sunday, July 24. That doesn't mean that you have to wait to, to you have your complete site uh, uh, and post the link by July 24. You can post the link right away once you have chosen um, the information technology that you're going to use, the social media information technology you're going to use, uh, post the link so we can see how you have uh, developed the site uh, by adding uh, content, by adding different type of uh, uh, formats. Okay, so, but by July 24, the link has to be there. 
even though uh, uh, it may not be completed. But my recommendation uh, uh, for your classmates, for yourself, and for me, is to link the uh, the, the or add the link uh, in H3 as soon as possible. Don't wait till July 24th. Start to work on it right away. And again, choose a technology you haven't used before. Okay, let's go back to the content area. Okay, this is uh, regarding homework. Now, re readings. I have posted here a list of readings that you will have to do. Uh, one of the questions that I always get is in what order, and I'll show you a trick to decide what order you're going to use. Let's see if this is going to open. My internet is very slow today. Okay, so you have uh, by topics here uh, the internet and the World Wide Web, library e collections, databases, digital reference, integrated library system, Web 2.0, blogs, mobile, cloud, open source, CMS which is content management system I don't expect you to read everything I hope you will uh, because this is a good good uh, reading list for the summer but what you have to read for sure is what it is uh, what it's it is being asked in communication discussions and we have seven topics there here it says graded participation and this is these are the instructions two comments, original and at least one more post to start and or comment on a classmate post. You have to, Then you have to have two entries if you want to have full participation. See one and two above, that's five points. If you only have one entry or one post, you will get only three points. So make sure you read the instructions and then you start answering the questions from DV1 to DV7. And where are you going to get the information to answer these questions or to comment on these questions from the required reading list? And for your own help, what I have done is I have put the citation of what I want you to read. For example, for DV1, I want you to read Odette uh, uh, chapter line uh, 2011 and Bertolt Gorhan, Jagger and Taylor 2012 and so on. So follow uh, the DVs and do the readings. That's, a, that's the only way to know what you have to read first or second. The, this, this is graded, remember, and so it has a due date. So DV1 has to be done by July 17. DV2 has to be done by July 24. Uh, DV3 has to be done also by July 24. Uh, DV4 has to be done by July 31st. Uh, DV5 has to be done by July 31st. Uh, DV6 has to be done by August 7. And DV7 has to be done by August 7. So as you can see, there is a lot of work. So you have to start working right away today. Okay, let's go back to the content area. So this is in regards to the required readings. And this the list is right here in this PDF file. I have for your own uh, 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 I have a component here, let me, okay, that is uh, the DVs. So in the in the content area, you have the link to what we just saw, okay. So you can go read, uh, do it in the discussion board, or you can click it from here. The point is that uh, make sure you do it on time. I am very flexible, but I need. Uh, but one thing I'm not flexible with is due dates okay so make sure you have everything in uh, according to the due date F then we have the final exam and the final exam will be open august 8 and will end august 11. 
Okay. So final exam content, it's based on readings, lectures, and DVs, conditions, total points, 10, that's the most you can get. Each question is worth a maximum of five points, and there are three questions, but you only have to answer two out of three, okay? And the exam um, is not hard. Um, it's, a, it's an opinion piece, but based on the readings, based on the class, based on your own experience. Again, uh, uh, the exam will be open. We can click here, table of content. The exam will, the final exam will open August 8th uh, to August 11th. Okay, and then we have the PowerPoints of the presentations that I have recorded in the past or that I will record. I will record a, a video like the one that uh, we're using now. So here it is. Uh, it is uh, 589, uh, 89 computers and the internet from CMS to WCMS, social media, the internet, etc. I also, uh, like I said, this, this will be new recordings and also uh, previous recordings. I also like to post a recording on searching that I did for my LS574 class, so it will help you. Um, even though it's not part of this uh, uh, class, but it will help you in searching for uh, your sources for homework number two, okay? For the lead review homework. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. Let's go to grades. And this is in the syllabus, but I want you to see this. This is how I'm gonna grade your uh, work on this summer. Okay, we have the DVs here. Uh, each one is worth five points. Remember, to get full credit, you have to enter. Uh, you have to have two entries. Then there is the homework, H1, H2, and H3. Okay, H1 is worth 20 points. The lead review is worth 15 points, and the H3 homework, your social media site, is worth 20 points. Then the final exam is worth 10 points. So this is how to uh, going to uh, evaluate you, and this is how you are going to achieve your letter grade. Communication is very important too, especially because this is an online uh, class. So I have what I call the first uh, uh, forum is what I call non-graded participation. And in the non-graded participation means that you don't get any grade uh, or points. Here is to introduce yourself who you are. Uh, second uh, topic is ask a question. This is where you're going to ask questions about the class, about the assignment, etc. But I will be adding more topics here. So uh, referring to a special uh, content. For example, if we're talking about social media or we are talking about uh, online reference or to CMS, CMS, I will be adding topics here to this list so we can discuss each particular topic. But if you have general questions about the class, this is a place where I said at the beginning that you can post them. And free for all means that you can post whatever you want. Of course, that it is related to Clarion University or uh, librarianship or um, uh, information technologies. And as I show you, then there's a graded participation, and the graded participation has two components. The DVs, which have due dates, don't forget that, and the uh, homework for homework H1 and homework H3. So uh, the serving of web technologies applications on library, the one you're, that you're going to do visiting the library, and uh, your social media uh, social media site. And for H2, you're going to use what is called now assignment. Uh, it used to be called the Dropbox. And this is where you're going to drop your H2. I think we have enough uh, material for today. Uh, for you to become familiar with the site. Please explore everything and start working. If I were you, I would start with my readings for my first DV. Okay? 
So I go to uh, discussion here. I go to discussion. Or or okay or, okay here. Let's see if we can see it here. Um, TV one. Okay. Let's, let me. This okay. Discussion. I will first. I will introduce myself. Secondly, I go to TV one, the first topic, the graded topic, uh, that is due on July seventy. Uh, meaning that uh, you know, look after July seventy. So you have to July seventy eleven thirty eight p.m. to finish this. I will start right away today. And what will I have to read? These two readings here. Okay. So, and how do you get these two readings? Well, you have to go to our library website and get the readings yourself. Okay? Where's the complete uh, citation? It's very easy because if you go to the content area and you go to the required readings in this list, uh, the, here's this citation. So with this citation, you have to go to to the uh, to the library, uh, to the Clarion uh, University Library website, and retrieve that article, which is in electronic format. Also, remember to to think about the topic that you want to explore and start your literature review too. So, from there's a lot of work uh, on this uh, five week uh, session. But remember, we I have to teach, and we have to do the same amount of work that we do in a regular semester. We have to do it in five weeks. So there are many things to do. So please, uh, it's better if you start from the get-go. All right, uh, thank you so much. By the way, this lecture or this introduction to the class, it's not a lecture, will be here, a display right here, okay? Thank you again, thank you so much and welcome to LS589.